All right, so let's make our store look nice. So if you click on this little eyeball here, right next to online store, it will show you what your store looks like right now. Now we haven't done anything to it, so it looks pretty basic. There's nothing going on here, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit edit homepage here. You can also get to this page, by the way, by clicking into online store and right here clicking customize and that'll bring you to the same page uh, the customize will show you on the right side here this is what your store looks like and this is what uh, each uh, category is in your store what it looks like right now this is how we edit it so it's very simple uh, up here you can also see what your store looks like for mobile devices like this which is actually very important because you'll find that 70 to 80 percent of your website's traffic will be coming from a mobile device so it's really important that your store looks good on mobile as well uh, this is your standard computer and you could do this one just to make it the full widescreen so let's go back to this and let's start editing here on the left hand side here we have these sections Right at the top we have the header. This is this section here. And if we click into it, this is how we'll edit this section. Same thing for all the other sections. This is how we edit each section. We'll just click on that section and it'll bring up various options for that section and we can edit it. Now, uh, it's important to note too that what we're using is the standard Shopify theme. There are many themes you can choose from with Shopify. This is the basic uh, debut theme, uh, but if you go back, you can actually, there's a theme store. So you go to online stores and themes, uh, and you can actually explore the free themes or you can go to the Shopify theme store and download new themes. Uh, so the free themes, some of these are very popular. You can see uh, debut, this is the one we're using. This is kind of what it looks like. If you want to change the look of your store, you can mess around with any of these other themes. You can see they look a little bit different. Some are more modern and stuff. I'm just going to use the standard debut theme, not necessarily because it looks the best, but in my opinion, uh, many, almost every add-on out there works with debut theme. And it also seems to have the most options, at least for me. There's a lot of these other things that sometimes you can't change things. So I'm going to use the debut theme. Let's go back to customize here. We have all these different sections. I'm actually going to delete all these sections that come with the store. So if you just click into the section, scroll down to the bottom and hit remove section, you can delete all of these. So let's start from a blank canvas here and delete every section that they have here by default. So this is a blank canvas. All we have is our header and footer. This is our footer. You can see in the footer we have the policies that we made and the header has nothing going on. So we're going to start by adding a section. Let's add a section and we're going to do image with text overlay and then hit add. This is just going to have a big image and some text and uh, an overlay. It's just going to be really simple. So you can upload any image you want on here, uh, but we're going to do explore free images. And since we're doing like a bikini bathing suit type thing, we're going to go like tropical. So let me type in tropical and see what comes up. So these are pretty nice looking. Let's go to beach. Let's type in beach. So these are all free to use. We can use any one of these images. Let's load more. Let's find a good one here. Okay, we don't sell that bikini, but let's just use it as an example. So we're gonna hit select. A mistake that I see a lot of stores make is they put some sort of cool wording here, something that sounds really nice, but it has really nothing to do with what they sell. Marketing tip for you, since this is the first thing that your customers are gonna see in your store, within the first five seconds or even two seconds, they need to know, what you sell, how it helps them, and how they can buy one. Those are the three things you need to keep in mind right when they visit their store. That's what they need to know. Keeping that in mind, we're going to make the heading something that sounds good, is very catchy, um, but is also 
uh, lets people know what you're selling and how it helps them. So we're gonna address the problem it's solving as well as what we're selling. They should know this from this one little sentence, very short sentence. So let's say swimsuits that look and feel good. Okay, very simple. They come to our page, they know what we're about. And in the text, the subheadline here, this is where you put the little cool little saying, but it still has to reflect what your brand is and why it exists and what problem it's solving. So uh, maybe something like, we believe swimsuits should not only look good. Let's see, how about not only make you look good, but also feel good. There, very simple. Maybe it doesn't need a period. Spelled believe wrong. And since this is a subheading, I'm gonna just make these all capitals. Now, when someone visits a site, this is the first thing they're gonna see. They're gonna see this girl in a swimsuit and they will know right away in the first three or four seconds of seeing this page, seeing that we sell swimsuits and our goal is to sell swimsuits that feel good as well as look good. The last thing we need to address for the customer is how they can get one. Right away, first five seconds, they know what we sell, what problem we're solving, and how they can buy one. There is no how they can buy one here, so we're gonna add a button link down here. And what I usually do is just all caps, shop now. I do one of these little things. And right now, uh, I'll just link it to the collection we made, bikinis. And that's it.